Let's see, if I can make just one additional mortgage payment a year, that means I can pay off my house. Whoa! A lot faster. <laughs> Welcome to the Red Desk. Today's topic, amortization. A word you hear often, but never know exactly what it means. At least that was me for a long time. But I knew it was important. Understanding amortization is essential to figuring out how loans work, which means lowering your chances of paying more than you need. Learn a little and save yourself some money. Most people pay for school, so settle in. Open up your trapper keepers, dust off that mechanical pencil, it is time to get amortized. You have two main pieces of any loan. The principal, the amount you're borrowing, and the interest the cost of the borrowing. Amortization is simply, or not so simply, splitting a loan's principal and interest costs into a series of payments and paying them over a set timeline. There are all kinds of ways banks do this. Maybe they split total interest over the lifetime of the loan. Maybe they make you pay more interest upfront and less later on. Imagine you're filling up a pool and you have two hoses you can draw water from. One stream is interest, one is principal. You're gonna fill up the pool either way, but the bank controls what stream you draw from and at what rate. That's amortization. Amortization tables or schedules show you how your loan manages that balance between paying off interest and paying off your principal, AKA how much of each faucet is being used to fill your pool. Example time, all right. Here's the scene. You've been recently approved for a 30-year fixed rate mortgage of $200,000 at 5% with 20% down or $40,000. Congratulations, by the way, let me know when the house where we use, can't wait to go. Using Rocket Mortgage's mortgage calculator, that comes out to $858.91 a month for 30 years. Not too bad. If you don't have any extra payments or anything else, you'll spend $309,209.25 total over those 30 years. That comes out to $149,209.25 on interest and $160,000 on the principal. Here's how most mortgage lenders calculate how much of your payments go to the interest versus the principal and at what point. So your lender will take your interest rate, in this case, 5%, and then divide it by 12 to get the percentage of the interest you'll pay in a given month. So for the very first payment, your principal is $160,000 since you haven't paid anything, and your interest is your rate of 5% divided by 12, multiplied by $160,000, which equals about $666.67. So if you subtract that from your $858.91 monthly payment, that means just about $200 per month goes towards your principal. Wow. But that's also the most you'll ever pay to interest at one time, since the next month, your principal will be lower. The math gets recalculated every month. See how that first month there's a ton going to interest, but then the following month it drops a little bit, and then it drops a little bit more, and then a little bit more. And then by the end of the loan, almost all of your payments are going towards your principal instead of your interest. This flow from heavy on interest to heavy on principal is classic amortization in action. Amortization is easy to visualize with fixed rate loans since you know exactly how much interest will cost you in the very beginning. It's harder with variable or adjustable rate loans. With adjustable rates, you have a good idea for the first five to 10 years depending on the loan, but you can't get an exact idea until later since the interest rates can change. For a breakdown on fixed versus adjustable rate loans, go watch this video. Understanding how monthly payments work leads to smarter decisions, which can lead to a fatter wallet, like figuring out how much you can save by paying a little bit extra towards your principal. For example, say you take out that same 5%, $200,000, 20% down 30-year fixed rate loan. If you pay 100 extra toward your principal balance with each monthly mortgage payment, you'll save about $25,000 in interest payments over the life of the loan. That's because each $100 chips away at that balance, dropping that multiplier bit by bit. Over the course of three decades, that turns into a huge bonus for just $100 a month. Wow, 
lower here. Let's finish with a few other terms you may see. Fully amortized loans have a payment schedule laid out. If you follow it, you'll be settled by the end of the term, just like the example table from earlier. Positive amortization is when lenders require borrowers to pay at least a little toward their principal with each payment, ensuring the loan is trending in a downward direction, which is kinda nice. Negative amortization is bad. Bad, bad. This is when you pay minimum payments, but they aren't enough to cover interest, meaning your total amount owed is continuing to rise. Avoid this at all costs. And then there's full amortization with deferred interest. This means you pay only interest for a few years and then switch to a normal loan. This can be a good option if you need lower payments now, but expect your income to rise in the future. That's it. Before signing up for a mortgage, look at your schedule in depth and see if you can hatch a plan to reduce your principal when possible to lower your overall cost of interest for the life of the loan. You should also see if a prepayment penalty has been snuck into the terms. These make sure lenders still get paid a decent amount if you happen to pay off the mortgage way earlier than expected. By the way, Rocket Mortgage doesn't have prepayment penalties. Whatever you do, don't rush. If you feel overwhelmed, just take a break and slow down. Ready to plug in some numbers? Rocket Mortgage can help you see what your monthly payment could be with the mortgage calculator. Thanks for joining us today. If you'd like to see more videos just like this, you can click right here. And as always, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.